The CDC's playbook for how to roll out a COVID-19 vaccine maps out a phased approach of when different groups of people should get the vaccine. But one thing is missing from the plan completely, our children. Haley Harrison's on your side tonight, finding out more about how and when children may be able to get a COVID-19 vaccine. It's no surprise the CDC's phase one prioritizes health care workers, the elderly and other at risk populations. The first priority group also includes daycare workers and school teachers, but doesn't mention the students except for those in college. There's a few reasons for this. Dr. Mobin Rathor with Wolfson Children's Hospital says we're trying to get the vaccine fast. We don't have we will not going to have enough vaccine for everybody. So we have to have an implementation plan that gives us the biggest return on investment. The chief of pediatric infectious disease and immunology says COVID-19 vaccine trials for children won't really ramp up until the short term part of phase three trials are completed for adults, which he says typically takes around four to six months. Then pharmaceutical companies figure out what doses are most effective for which populations. We, we test the vaccines and studies in adults first, and if we find them to be safe, hopefully also effective, but definitely safe, then we will only do studies in children. So this is not unusual. This Dr. Rathor says depending on when a successful one rolls out for adults, there may not be a COVID-19 vaccine proven, quote, safe and effective for children before the next school year. I think honestly, it's going to be sometime toward the middle of next year. Jacksonville pediatrician Randy Thornton says there are some companies ready to do drug trials with older children. For example, Pfizer and BioNTech have already proposed an expansion of COVID-19 vaccine trials to 16 year olds, which Dr. Thornton says is a start. To immunize the children will do so much better protecting everybody else. To take a closer look at the CDC's plan, you can find the full COVID-19 playbook on our website. In Jacksonville, Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.